light behind you makes you look like you're glowing. Did you already tell them the story? No, not yet. Oh. This morning at 6.30, 6.30, we woke up because we heard a bunch of like banging noises. Loud bangs. And um, I kind of just sat there for a second because I was like, Am I hearing this? Is this a real noise that I'm hearing? Oh yeah, we both woke up. And then I looked out the window and I saw like this dark figure <laughs> in the trash can. The trash can was like laid on its side. And I was like, and then Mike was coming over and I made a noise and I scared it away. And I was like, I think that was a bear. So then we were like, okay, we kind of like went back to bed. <laughs> and then I saw the light turn on again outside because there's like a motion sensor light motion sensor light um and i saw it come back on and i looked outside and it was back it was this big huge black bear oh yeah he was uh yeah he's reaching through the the what is it what the, is it the fence fence yeah. yeah there's like a fence around the patio he's like reaching through clawing at this trash can trying yeah. to grab the trash can and so then kaylee was like oh i'm gonna scare him off again like i did last time we kind of watched him for a second and uh so she like banged on the glass <clears throat> and uh you know of course i've got these visions of it like knowing we're there like coming <laughs> through the glass like, oh it's a black bear they should be pretty timid but so it got scared off again I just like walked up the hill and then i was going to the bathroom and i heard noises again and i was like is it back <laughs> when i yelled i yelled that there was another one <laughs> And then we looked out the window and there are two of them. They're just kind of walking. Yeah. Walking up the driveway and down to the next cabin. <laughs> yeah, doing their rounds, I guess. Yeah. The second one looked to be a little smaller. So the assumption is that it's a mom and a cub. I'm pretty sure that the black bears stay with their mom for like two years. Yeah. So it could have easily been like close to a two-year-old bear. Mm -hmm. They were big. <laughs> they were... Yeah. They were big... I don't. I wouldn't want to come face to face with them, even though yeah. I know that they're, for the most part, as scared of us, or not necessarily as scared of us, but they want to avoid confrontation as much as we do. Yeah. But the sad thing is, I hope they're not too domesticated, or not not domesticated, but I hope they're not too used to human scraps and crap, <laughs> uh, like from garbage around here, because they might just rely on that, and then if their food source is not there, they'll get aggressive. So that's it was pretty wild though yeah they were cute though they yeah, were they cute were. <laughs> it looked like buddy or skunky or something <laughs> it looked like yeah. i mean buddy gets into the trash the same way you know he's like just yeah. investigating trying to get whatever it was so. funny we're at breakfast atrium Atrium pancakes. <laughs> you know what? Water's always got to be there to cleanse the palate. One and orange juice and coffee. Good morning, girls. What can I say? Yeah, we went a little hard. Let me see. Right, I'm, gonna bite, I'm gonna bite into a pancake here. This what is wrong with you? <laughs> So we're like, well, let's try this again. Atrium pancakes. I'm excited for this. Let me pour some apple syrup over it. Apple syrup. This is going to be good. I'm excited. <laughs> I'd say we look pretty did a pretty good job. I should be saying something. No, it's not very hot. Oh, so we just ate at Atria's. It was really good. We're stuffed. Let's put it this way. I got three plate-sized pancakes, four pieces of bacon, and two eggs, I think. I finished them. And now I feel... Like, not good. <laughs> no, but it was excellent. Amazing food. Very good. Amazing food. Homey vibe, too. I like the vibe. I like yeah. the vibe. Cool. Good spot. Not too expensive, either. Yeah. So, yeah. Good so choice. I think 
go um, we're gonna go into the park there's a little bit of threat of rain so we're gonna hit the visitor center pick up a map which we haven't done yet and uh, maybe hit some like little easy trails right on the uh, right in the entrance yep so, uh, now to the next part of the video <laughs> So we're at the visitor center. We bought some stuff because you can't go on vacation and not buy souvenirs, am I right? Um, and we got a couple of maps. So I think right now we're gonna go on a little waterfall tour. Yes. It's really hot and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and I didn't bring a change of um, shirts, which is annoying. Um, so be prepared when you come here. Don't be like me. That's pretty All right, cool. so we made it to this waterfall. It's just off. It's kind of tucked back. Yeah, it's tucked back here, but it looks really pretty from here. Yeah, so there it is back there. Tucked away. It's a little bit hard to see if you're not paying attention. But it's literally just off the side of this road. Little River Road. Yeah, I don't know if that's... There might be a hiking trail to that, but I think we'd have to go to all the way to the next road and drive it back in, and then there's a hiking trail that comes all the way back. Oh. Which might be a little bit too far. But that's still cool to... Look at all this wall. So we're looking at the sinks here, which is, I believe, somewhat man-made. Like logging or something like that, and they use a lot of dynamite. I've kind of created this waterfall here. All the kids have been jumping in. <laughs> and we watched, the, we watched one kid swim way down in there. And he was like trying to get up into the waterfall. And I thought he was going to kill himself. <laughs> but he's down there safe and sound. Here's the little story about it. So there you go. Yeah, watch that. The swirling water is the Little, little River Cascade over a man-made waterfall at the sink. Before trains rumble through the smoky loggers use the river to float timber to mills. Massive log jam formed here in a bend in the river. Dynamite to free the logs. And it looks like it's going to start raining soon. So there's nowhere to park by the sinks, so we have to walk along the road to get back to our car. As soon as we left, three cars left. Yeah, of course. So now there's probably spots open. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home. Yeah, do it at the Smoky Mountain. <laughs> this is the only place you can do it. If your home is the Smoky Mountains, you're screwed. Everybody else is good. <laughs> also, it got really dark. Yeah. Really fast. So I can't figure out what direction the clouds are actually moving. Yeah, I don't I know. It like looks the like they came in like... from both sides. I know. <laughs> I might just do it. I love this river. Or creek or whatever you call it. We just got back to our cabin and there's a turkey and our there's a turkey on the driveway. Can't really see it anymore, but there's a couple little babies with her. It must be a mom. You can see the turkey. Can't though. really see the babies. Yeah, because they're so small. But we saw the little baby. Oh, ever... there's one. I see it. I don't know if I've there's ever seen. There's another one coming up behind. I don't know if I've ever seen baby turkey before. Aww, they're so cute. That's awesome. Babies, anything's are pretty cute, honestly. Yeah, even like worms. <laughs> That's so Look cool. at them. Look at the little. Aww. Oh, there's a little baby. Oh, there's one behind. It's like, wait for me. Aww. So, if anything, this trip has been filled with a lot of good wildlife. At the cabin. At the cabin, yeah. <laughs> We've seen raccoons on the patio. Bears just about on the patio and turkeys in the driveway with mm -hmm. babies. Pretty what cool. What next? 
My guess is, um, elephant. Yeah, so the bears, when we saw them, were literally right over here. Hang on, I'll be the bear. Like, this is where we sleep. This is the bedroom window. And they were, like, we are in I'll our room. We are in our room right here, behind this window. Yeah. And that's what they were doing. Like, they were literally they right there. Over? can't remember. Well, the first one, the first time, the first time, the first time I saw it, he was on this side. Like, they were on this side of the fence in the trash can. They jumped in? Yeah. But, like, windows right there. That's yeah. That's insane. It was crazy. Like I said, it's closer than you can get at the zoo. Yeah, it was crazy. In there, we're sitting in there like this, peeking through the blinds. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're like, it's a bear, what do we do? <laughs> All right, so some time later, um, we kind of chilled out for a little bit. Oh, bugs are attacking me. And now we're going to go down to Gatlinburg into town and we're probably gonna get something to eat. And then we're gonna try to go up to Klingman's Dome, Klingman something. I keep forgetting the name. They all sound the same and they're just all running together. So, yeah. Okay, we're in the car. Mike is mad at me because I vlogged without him. <laughs> um, we're on our way to Gatlinburg to eat. Hi, so I'm bad at vlogging, um, but also it was super busy. We went to this place, what was it? Smoky Mountain Brewery. Oh, that's cute. The Smoky Mountain Brewery. And we had food and it was good. And then we ran to the car because we want to make it to Klingman's Dome. I, it's always funny to say that. Yeah, I know. It's such a weird name for a mountain. Yeah. Look Jeez, at that. Jeez, that mountain. I that love cloud that. Just on there. That looks like something out of This is where we pulled off the other day, but like, I love this view right here. This pull off Very is the cool. best. We're gonna figure out what mountains those are. Nature, isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we started off by coming up here. We were like sprint. It's super steep. And I'm out of breath already. It's supposed to be like half a mile. But it's pretty heavy incline. Yeah. Man, this is it. we're gonna be feeling it in our calves tomorrow. Oh yeah. I'm already feeling Excuse my heavy breathing. <laughs> but we're almost there. 0.5 miles is a tough point point five miles. Yeah. Oh man, it'll be worth it. All right, we're here. Here we go. Cool cloud over there. Can you remember this maybe? If I remember my clouds properly. Oh. not great for vlogging up here. So, there's a sunset, and then we go over to this side, and it's literally just like we're on top of a mountain. <laughs> like we literally are. 